Remember back when I said that this would be a travel channel now? Well, I wasn't lying. It just took me a while, but this is what this is now. So, where am I? I'm at the, what's it called again? The Alchemist Enchanted Lagoon? That's how you translate it. It's some kind of water park that's about an hour away from Fortaleza, my hometown. This puzzles me because I don't I don't get a dinosaur. As I was saying, this is some kind of water park uh, slash fancy kind of like beachfront experience. I've never been, but the pictures on social media look dope, so I figured I'd check it out. That's what it looks like apparently. Six thousand square meters. Oh yeah, by the way, Brazil? Actually metric. And it is like to claim they are, but then you ask somebody what their height or their weight is, and they turn American all of a sudden. Stop fucking lying. All metric here, baby. I brought the drone and some other goodies, of course. Never leave home without it, but I'm getting a strange feeling that somebody's gonna give me uh, a hard time over trying to fly a drone here. Again, I'm not entirely sure what's up with the dinosaur because it's not like this area is supposed to be like a big archaeological site or anything as far as I know. By the way, I was here exactly once when I was maybe eight and this place looked completely different. None of this, it was just, just the, the, the lake really. It is 9.50 right now, so it's kind of slow. I imagine the place picks up, although I see a bunch of kids, so this seems like a, like a family type joint more so than like a party spot but then again with Brazilians you never know sometimes you go to a place where there's like families and kids and stuff and the place is popping off so I swear to god if I take off and some of these people give me trouble it'll be a real bummer I'm really looking forward to flying over this place looks cool and I want to check that out that's where I want to be but I believe you have to pay extra for that Reminds me of the places in Mexico, the beds with the whatever you call that. That is more detailed than I was expecting. The the dinosaur even blinks. The dinosaurs blink. Because I mean, if it if they didn't, then this is less realistic, I guess. Hey, buddy. Holy shit! This is again. This is way more than I expected. I thought these were statues. That's wild. Very cool. This is the VIP section. Costs 150 reais to get in here. I think it's 35 bucks to get into the park itself and then 150 to be in this area. There's the little, um, I don't know what to call those, the beds with the things over them. And then there's these, there's some jacuzzis apparently. It's nice. There's, you know, a bar, though I don't really drink. <laughs> Pastel. So it's basically deep fried dough and then inside you put whatever you want. So I'm a bit of a food basic bitch. So this is just cheese or at least it should be. Service here isn't the best. And I don't mean here, this place specifically in Brazil or at least in my hometown. People fuck up orders constantly. It's almost a cultural thing. To expect your order to be right all the time is seen as slightly unreasonable. It takes you a while to work up the nerve to fly over water. When you first buy a drone, you go a while, kind of flying very extremely safe, very conservatively, not very high, not very far, definitely not over water. It takes flying these for a while, crashing a couple, to kind of see what they can withstand, right, in regards to like the flight conditions. In this case, it's quite windy. So I was trying to do a couple of passes, trying to get some cool shots for Insta, but uh, this thing kind of did one of these, like, and I actually saw my my life flash before my eye, so I'm staying put for now. Well, I feel like it's a wrap. People are starting to kind of fall out of the uh, park here. Kind of getting hungry, and I don't want to eat here again because the food wasn't the best part, I will be honest. 
Brazilian food is typically better than what I uh, tried here. I guess you can't win them all. Also, the park has a bit of an unfinished vibe to it. Like, they're still expanding it. So, like, I think you can see it over there. There's a park that's, like, walled off. And there's, like, pictures of what it's supposed to look like. And it looks like a big, like, work pit or something. I don't know if that's a word. Work pit. Anyway, the fact that there's dinosaurs here and the park is a little unfinished does not go without notice. And I actually kind of like it. And I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but there's a, some kind of a... I don't even know what to call this. It's like a inflatable obstacle course with a slide. I um, I went on something like this in um, Sylvan Lake in Alberta. It was a lot of fun, but I dropped my glasses once and it was a bitch to get them because overall it was an okay experience. The place is kind of fun though. Like I said, a little bit unfinished. Too many kids around, so there's kids screaming. If that's not your thing, you're probably not gonna have a good time here. And it was a little too windy for flying. So if, yeah, there's that. Usually when I come to these places, I like uh, pulling out the old uh, trusty Mio Mini. I'd never leave home without it. Didn't have a chance to play with this guy, so maybe next time. I am getting through uh, Project Hill Mary by uh, Andy Weir, the same guy who wrote The Martian. See, that's what I said. Great book, by the way. Maybe I'll do a video on this. Six hundred thirty-two reais. That adds up to let's see. So it's about one hundred and thirty dollars for the whole day. Lots of drinks, lots of food. So I can't complain exactly. It's not that expensive, but you know, I've been to better places. Let's say.